Pietism, which was fitting since this was also an election year. During 1976, we also saw some of our favorite movies and TV shows premiere, along with the introduction of a company named after a fruit that would soon revolutionize our lives. To start out the new year, on January 1st in Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell was moved to a new pavilion across the street from Independence Hall. This was in preparation for the huge crowds that were expected this year in celebration of the United States Bicentennial. On January 16th, the music and variety show Donnie and Marie premiered on ABC. With the start of the show, siblings and teenagers Donnie and Marie Osmond became the youngest entertainers to host their own variety show. On January 27th, Laverne and Shirley a spin-off from the show Happy Days premiered on ABC. The show starred Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams as single roommates working at a Milwaukee brewery. by Martin Scorsese. Robert De Niro played Travis Bickle, a Vietnam veteran who takes a job driving a cab while his life spirals out of control. The movie would go on to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Picture. On March 1st, a man named Bradford Bishop, who had just learned he lost a promotion at work, went home and murdered five of his family members in Bethesda, Maryland. For 10 days, the crime went undetected allowing Bishop time to flee. He was never found, and it was believed he fled to Europe after the killings. On April 1st, Apple Computer Company was formed by Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne in Jobs' parents' garage in Los Altos, California. On April 11th, the Apple I computer created by Steve Wozniak was released. And a day later, Ronald Wayne left Apple selling his 10% share for only $800. On April 22nd, Barbara Walters became Network TV's first anchorwoman when 
she signed on to co-anchor the ABC Evening News with Harry Reasoner for $1 million per year. Harry Reasoner, however, never warmed up to the idea of sharing the spotlight, and his disdain was evident on air. On June 3rd, the United States was presented with the oldest known copy of the Magna Carta as a gift from the British government to celebrate the bicentennial of American independence. The Magna Carta, a document signed in 1215, secured liberties and protected due process in England, basically barring an absolute monarchy. The document would go on to inspire American colonists to declare their independence from Great Britain in 1776. On June 14th, The Gong Show premiered on NBC. The Amateur Hour style show was originally hosted by John Barber, but would later be filled by show creator Chuck Barris, who wanted the show to have a more zany, chaotic feel. The show would go on to make Jean Jean the Dancing Machine a household name. On July 4th, the United States celebrated its bicentennial. Coast to coast, Americans celebrated the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence with various events, including fireworks, parades, and patriotic television programs. Announced, 
during the Jerry Lewis MDA telethon in Las Vegas. This would mark the first time the comedy team had been together on stage in over 20 years. On September 17th, NASA publicly unveiled the Space Shuttle Enterprise in Palmdale, California. The shuttle was named after the Star Trek Enterprise, and they even had cast members in attendance for the unveiling. On September 22nd, the TV show Charlie's Angels premiered on ABC. The show made stars of Farrah Fawcett, Kate Jackson, and Jacqueline Smith, who played crime-fighting private detectives in the show that became a cultural phenomenon. On November 2nd, Democrat Jimmy Carter and his running mate, Minnesota Senator Walter Mondale, defeated incumbent President Gerald Ford to become the next President of the United States. The narrow victory made Carter the first from the state of Georgia to win the presidency. On November 21st, Rocky, starring Sylvester Stallone as underdog prize fighter Rocky Balboa, debuted in New York City. Rocky, which was also written by Stallone, not only took home three Oscars, including Best Picture the next year, but it made Sylvester Stallone one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. <clears throat> On December 8th, Asylum Records released the Eagles' fifth studio album called Hotel California. The record would spawn two number one hits with New Kid in Town and Hotel California and go on to sell over 30 million copies. <clears throat> To finish out the year, on December 19th, just 10 minutes after the Pittsburgh Steelers beat the Baltimore Colts 40-14, a small Piper Cherokee airplane crashed into the upper deck of Baltimore Memorial Stadium. The 33-year-old pilot named Donald Croner crashed his plane intentionally after the Steelers handily beat the Colts, and the incident was dubbed the playoff plane crash. Luckily, he was the only one hurt, and after he was released from the hospital, was taken into custody.
where he received a two-year prison sentence. in the 
Там что-то резко шевернулось, резко дернулось.
down. There is no America. 
There is no democracy. There is only IBM and ITT and AT&T and DuPont, Dow, Union Carbide, and Exxon. Those are the nations of the world today. What do you think the Russians talk about in their council of state? Karl Marx? They get out their linear programming charts. Statistical decision theories, Minimax solutions, and compute the price cost probabilities of their transactions and investments just like we do.